Last time on Vampire. Okay? The fuck? Can I talk my way out of this? You think I can talk my way out of this? Ho! Oh, oh, Ho, Blood Guardian! This time on Vampire. Hello everybody! My name is Mathis and welcome back to some more. Is your computer on? Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines! Before we go do the the big mission for him, I want to head back to my apartment and make sure I've got all the money and buy all the things that I, you know, probably should buy before we deal with all of uh, the nonsense that comes along with blowing up a warehouse for some vampire kindred people. If you missed last episode, I'm not even going to spoil it. You should watch it. You really should watch last episode. There was some cool story bits that happened uh, that I didn't see coming, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so go check it out yourselves. I would, again, I highly suggest checking it out. It was a fun one, uh, and I'll leave it at that. So, uh, first things for, er, what the hell? Okay, before we, there's cops over there. I'm gonna have to check out what that's all about here in a minute. First, I want to come in here, and, uh, I want to check my mailbox and get the money that I'm owed. Money clip. A lot of money laying around. Funny that. Yeah, weird. Funny that. Uh, I don't think I have anybody in my apartment waiting for me, but I'll double check just to make sure. Also, maybe check my emails and stuff, which I have not done in a little while. Uh, email. Uh, yeah. Sunrise accepted. Oh, nicely done. Uh, your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. Thank you. Thank you very much. I live to serve the masquerade. That's right, I'm a good venture boy, and I do what I'm told, and in doing so, I get paid money. That's just how it works here. Alright. Uh, we will go check out the cops here in a minute. Um, I'm very curious what they have to say, but first, I also want to come in here and see if uh, there's anything I can get done or buy or whatever that I haven't bought yet. Alright, let's see. Thanks for coming Yeah, no back. problem, man. Do you sell weapons? Um, no. Not, not really. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, you will sell your weapons to me. Hmm, how about I'm not convinced? You know, you really don't seem the criminal and or undercover cop type. <laughs> I am trustworthy. Well, okay. Hey, it's cool. I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. Thanks. Let's see what you have. All right, so we, so now we have some some. Okay, he just is selling me ammo. That's all you got is ammo. That's lame. Um, you need research skill of at least three. Well, how about we take this and we we look into research. So if we want research, it's scholarship and intelligence. So if we put one into here. It would give us research skill three, right? So let's do that. And then we can actually use whatever this unknown book is. So you want to shoot things. Well, we increased a stat. So we spent a little experience points to increase one of our shooty stats. Our shooty shooty bang bang stats. It's not bad. I'm alright with that. What else we got? How's it going down here? What happened? Oh man, paintings get ruined? That's really weird. How did I know that? I don't know what you're talking about, surely. Hello. You won't talk to me. Hey, you will. Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Ah, uh, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? Yeah, weird. I just hope they catch the guy, uh, the person who did this. Bye now. You want a jaywalking ticket? What? No? Did I ask for one? Sorry, I'm busy. I'm okay. Relax. You want a jaywalking ticket? Hey, buddy, ticket? what happened? Bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> Where do you think you're gonna All do right, when let's I see what we got. Uh, so we already know this. Uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Dark blood and such become find me where the mystical, uh, find me where burns the mystical sun. I don't know what that means. We gotta do that still, Mr. Milton, and then it's downtown. Hopefully we can actually attack those, like, side quests in, uh, after we do the main, the main quest. Because I'm assuming we're gonna get the option, or the opportunity to, uh, check out maybe some new stuff in a new area soon. Since I feel like I've exhausted most of what I'm able to do here. Um, then again, maybe it's through sewers as well. Like, checking out some sewers might be good. Uh, anyway, 
Let's go down this way and go deal with the uh, with this nonsense, shall we? We are living in the last days of the last right, Well, you need to chill the hell out, my friend. All right, Mr. Nosferatu, let's do this. You ready to go? Uh I'll have some questions for you when I get back. Let's go. All right, off we go. Going to blow up a, a warehouse. I'm sure it's going to go well. I have no blood pack. I maybe should have bought some, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, so we're in the sewers. He did not even bother. Can I, like, leave if I want? No, I cannot. Okay. Game saved when I came down here, so that's good. All right. I'm here to kick ass and take names. Mo well, mostly just blow up the place, actually. The kicking ass part and the taking names part. Partial lies. I'm at, I'm coming through the ladies' room, baby. Bum, 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 Sorry, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, weird. Oh, my goodness. Did you die? Did you fall over dead? That is unfortunate, sir. Weird how that happens. Hello? 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 Ooh, what's over here? I have to check this out. What is it? Oh, nice. It's a crate box with ammo. I'll take it. Let's uh pop this and reload. Shotgun might be a bit more to my liking when it comes to fighting. And then again, so would like just giving them the suicide order, which is a little bit on the easier side when it comes to being a Ventrue, if I'm uh, being honest here. I had a feeling. Stop making so much goddamn noise. Yeah, we'll just kill you. Unless you're just a homeless person, I'm gonna lose humanity from that. Guess not. Don't worry, he wasn't a person. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Is the problem. Like, it's not very clear where they want me to go. But, if I can sneak my way through, I'm happy. What? Oh. Let's go this way. I don't know where. I'm waiting. I don't know where. But I'll make him suicide, I promise. Or at least I'll put him into a trance and, like, drain him. Drain him. Easier that way. Don't vomit the blood, sir. I know it's a problem. But we're doing good. We're doing this very Ventrue style, which I like. Kind of sneaking in, causing people to go into trances, and murdering some bastards in the process. Feeding on them, so, like, making them go into a trance is not a big deal. Good, good, good. So maybe I'm supposed to, like, go across? Yeah, this has to be the right way down here. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe he heard something. Like what? Like, I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. Like, commit suicide? Oh, God, he's choking himself, man. Before Marcus comes out and starts. What happened? Weird. Weird. It's almost like. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, my God. Your friend killed himself, and, and you. You just got the kiss of death. Sorry, friend. Nothing personal, I promise. I don't need that. I can just grab that. All right. I should maybe listen to their conversation. You know, information is important in the world of darkness and all. But so is murdering people. Some might even argue murdering people in the world of darkness is even more important. Okay. I can definitely maybe lockpick this. We'll see what it requires for a skill first. And let me see if blood buffing is going to help. 
Uh, I can definitely pull that off. Okay, so we can just blood buff. No problem. Hello? More ammo, I guess? Okay. I mean, ammo's good and guns on humans are obviously very powerful. I kind of like if there's like a single person. Yourself. Sorry, man. Nothing personal. Kill your. Oh shit! Well, he's just going doing his own thing. Kill yourself. Don't worry about it. Oh shit! And then we'll just put you into a trance and drain the shit out of you. Oh shit! Oh yeah, just keep shooting your friend. That's fine. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Oh shit. Try again. That's so great. I love that I can actually take people out super far away. Just completely cause them to commit suicide. It's it's awesome. I mean, there was a group of four people here. Really, the only ones that caused me trouble was the one guy who came out here because I, I had two of them kill themselves and then I had one of them just in a trance and I just fed on the other one. That was That's so good. And again, I love trance as a single target just control. One dude, I'm going to just murder. No problem. And I can get a sneak peek this way. Hello? I do hear whistling. Is it just him? What was that? I'd rather just use suicide. So the, I, I'm a little bit concerned. So we'll just have him die. Shit. And I want to feed on him if he's the only one left. We should be fine to get to him. Easy enough. Done. As long as I can always leave one around to feed on, I'm, I'm happy. Definitely take that. Take that. All right, I'm gonna head back in here because I know there's somebody whistling and I kind of want to just clear out everybody if I can. So let's do that. Who? And then, done. Look at that. Beautiful. The stealthiest way to kill a man is to just drink him dry. You'd think that, like, drinking everybody dry like this would, al <coughs> would allow me to, uh, you know, content the beast within. But it's fine. It's fine. That was good. All right. Perfect. This is going really smoothly so far. So we have this in here is where I'm assuming I need to go. Locked door. Locked door. Well, we could pick it with blood buff, presuming that it is a difficulty for lock pick. So why don't we do that? We'll go down to blood buff. We'll start picking and then blood buff. And then I'll go back to suicide, just in case there's a few. It's difficulty six, so no, I can't. And I don't have enough experience points to really get lock picking up. It's almost... It's at five now due to blood buff, so... Let's just keep, let's just move down this way. Blood buff is over. Oh shit. Actually, trancing him would be great. Cause I need, 
I did just use blood buff to uh, help myself out a little bit and it didn't work so keeping my blood nice and high especially without bringing any blood bags is very important right. where is suicide there it is huh hopefully this is another four it was it was a three. I probably could have done it without the help of anything else. Okay, one man down. Two men down. I want a suicide three. Because the guy in the corner has no idea what's happening. And then if I just trance the guy in the corner, I should have no problems just draining him. Who needs guns, man? When you just have the power of your fucking mind. Oh, I missed. There we go. We're good. No gunshots got off this time, friends. Though that was a little bit more blood usage than I anticipated to have to use in here. If I could have drained two of them, I would have been a happy. Uh, yeah, I would have been a happier person, I think. Oop, oop, oop. We have another thug somewhere. Probably upstairs. Which means more food, which is good. Just trance them, drain them, be done with it. Hello? Whoop! Hey, where you going, man? Okay, well, let's uh go down to suicide. Hey, where you going, man? Can't see anything. You can't even shoot me through the window. Okay, let's try this again. We have plenty of blood to play with, so you're just gonna die. Is it just the two? I don't even need to use blood if it's just you. Oh, I missed, but that's fine. Cause I can just do that. And it'll heal me up. I think I heard footsteps, so we need to be careful. He's fine though. Let's um, we're doing so well. Let's like save it. So I don't F up and die. Now. Keep the suit. I think keeping the suicide option is ideal right now. We're good. We're good. Any drawers I can open? No. There's a drawer missing there. Oh, I had presents. I didn't mean to presents at all. Just die. Your friend's dead. You can probably hear him, hear him breathing his last breath. As we speak, nice dodgeback, I have to admit. Very nice. Don't worry. At least dying, like, via feeding feels good, right? Like, I can at least take solace in knowing that they are probably enjoying themselves. What's in here? Anybody going to the bathroom? Is this a bathroom? Hello? A four. All right, before we do that, let's take a look in here. What is this? History has a way of repeating itself, and if we don't stop violence and destruction now, when will it end? What the fuck? They know I'm here. Where are they? What? Where? Are... How many? I hear lots of footsteps, actually. It's at least two. Well, now down to one. Honestly, the suicide option is fucking incredible. I'll take that. I don't need guns. I really like the idea of never using my gun. What is, oh, this is what I want to do with it. Arming the explosive. No problem. Did I do it? Oh, shit. I have a time limit to get out of here. I don't have time to fuck with you kids. I'm out. Die. See you later. Oh shit. Oh shit, there's so many of you. Holy crap. Okay, I just gotta go. Ow. Okay. You. And I'll drain you. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about your friend. He's just taking a nap. Thank you. Suicide and draining, baby. We'll do blood buff just to make sure. 
trance. We'll take it all. Whoa, 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 Ah, fuck! None of that shit, sir. I don't know who you are, but I don't appreciate it. Fuck! Blood buff. Trance. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, fuck you. I was not prepped for a vampire fight at all. Can I feed on you? Probably not. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Get me the fuck out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. It's a bot, it's a bot bullshit. I'm not prepped for that, man. We have a minute 30 to get the hell out. Maybe I should shotgun it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need it right now, but... Get me out of here. That's yellow damage scares me. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I forget what it means. This is the good thing about having gone through like, like I did. Oh, fuck off. Fuck. All right, we gotta go back in. Do this. Fuck. Ow! I'm reloading. Come on, stop. Come on, man. Oh, I died! Okay. That is a, a problem. <laughs> that is a big problem. Alright, I gotta remember, I gotta know that that's how that's gonna go down. Uh, I don't have a blood bag. I did not expect that. Okay. Let's... Okay. First and foremost... Oh, shit. Okay, let's... um. Okay, you are doing your thing. You wanna freak out. That's fine. Uh, okay, we're gonna take out you with the gun. You're gonna die. I'll do this. Drain you. No problem. Easy enough. Easy peasy. Let's go take out the other three dudes first before I worry about setting the explosive and running. So we're gonna take the, the ammo. No question. We're gonna take this. Um, I also want to make sure, you know, everything's loaded. Okay. Good, good. Let's do this. Don't worry about that. Before we do anything else, ow. Go knife, just so I have it. Suicide. So you're dead. There's three or four more down there. Is somebody else walking? Maybe I should just go. Maybe I should just goddamn do it and do what I was doing and then move on with my life. Okay. Let's do it. Arm the explosive. We should probably save it. So I don't have to go through it again. Okay. Save it. Save it. No problem. No problem. Go down there. Murder as many fucking people as I can through suicide option. Wait for the suicide on one more because there's a, what, two? There's four. There's four of them. Hey, okay. Luckily, your guns don't do shit to me. You're dead. And then I come over here and I just drain you. Good, 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 good. Okay, then I'm gonna go guns a blazing on the last guy. First, save it. I think just saving every single time I accomplish something is a good, good thing to do. Let's get out of here. Okay. Lockpick this shit. Or not. My lockpick sk skills below two? Are you fucking serious with that shit? Okay. Open it. Thank you. He'll bust through. Right here. Okay. The shotgun to the face should be enough, but it's not. Okay, we're just gonna let him reload. You're glitched. I appreciate that. Reload. I'm gonna actually throw a save down here. 
and get ready to burn fortitude on the next fight. Unless suicide works on him. Actually, I'm willing to give suicide a shot. I'm hoping it will. Maybe that'll save me some goddamn time. Where is he? Is he in here? I think he's gonna show up in here. Can't remember. Okay, come in here. Okay, he's in here. Suicide. It does nothing. Oh shit, it did nothing. Okay, let's uh... Nope, it worked the second time. So it's like a chance to work, I guess. Got it. Understandable. Uh, we just gotta go. Hopefully no more, because I'm, I'm going to die if I have to fight. Where the hell's the way out of here? I can't remember. 20 goddamn seconds. Ah, oh, shit. Thirteen seconds. Wow. Oh, oh, I just fell. Am I all the way back? Am I gonna blow up? Oh, I died. <laughs> all right. Well, it's like you could you completed your quest. Good job. Okay, minute twenty-five. Let's go. Yeah, I know what my quest log is. Get the fuck out. Is my quest log? I got you. I am just going to try and make him commit suicide both times. It's finding my way out of here is actually a bit more of a problem because I have a terrible sense of direction in the first place. So, let's hope we can fucking nail it. Where does he drop from? Okay, he dies. Good. Good, good, good. Let's go. I snuck around the corner. I'm just trying to backtrack here. Hoping this is enough. How did I get out of here? Where did I come from? Through here? This sound, this like all looks familiar-ish. Okay. Oh, I got out. Oh no! What the? Oh, don't do it, man. No, no, it's not worth it. Oh. The warehouse. Fuck. Your handiwork, I presume. Oh God. Yeah, I did it. What the hell are you gonna do about it? You're new to this life, aren't you? I'd wager you haven't insulted some of the older ones yet. But this is a city of opportunity. So, are you a werewolf? <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. Who are you, and why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Hmm. Santa Monica Baron has a split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Saw a ghost at a local hotel. A ghost? <laughs> Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. And I met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. 
They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Well, other than that, I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Night, Beckett. Why are you so tall? Interesting. I can't move. Oh, nope. All right. <laughs> we're, we're back. We're good. We're good. All right. Well, that was kind of a, a cool way to end it. So he's not a werewolf. Interesting. Very cool. Hey, I did it. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's going to be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Thanks. You know someone named Beckett? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Hmm. Bertram, I have some serious questions for you. What do you need? What was the deal with you and Therese Foreman? That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. It sounded pretty vicious to me. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body, and look what happens. <laughs> did you know Jeanette and Therese were the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Mm. I've got more questions. Like what? I had some questions about the clans. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Tell me about Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh... Not all of them are worth listening to, but uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. I also wanted to ask you about the sex. Yeah. Mm, what do you know about the Camarilla? The Camarilla works. Camarilla, sorry. When you let vampires run wild, you wind up with caitiff frenzying in the streets, then bloods blowing the masquerade, and hunters sniffing around. Law and order is the kindred's friend. Uh, what's a caitiff? Caitiff are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan, mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Uh, let's see, more clans. Sure. Bruja, Gangrel, Malkavians, I already know about them. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the Ventru, my clan. Well, let's do, yeah, let's do venture. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Okay, are you saying that just because I'm a Ventru? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm talking about the powerful Ventru. You're just a pup. Oh, makes sense. All things in time. I want to ask you about another clan. Sure. Uh, let's ask him about the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Lucky you. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Are the Nosferatu part of the Camarilla? I'm loyal to the clan. Loyal to my primogen, and therefore... Loyal to the Camarilla. Hmm. That was an, an enthusiastic endorsement. The Nosferatu are the eyes and ears of the Camarilla. 
So they take care of us. They value our services. Or, uh, don't want to be on our bad side. Either way, no one bothers us. Hmm. What do you think of Prince LaCroix? What am I gonna say? He's the boss now. Yeah, what about the guy who decapitated my sire? He's LaCroix's iron fist. No one knows the sheriff, really. Except LaCroix. No one even knows the guy's name. There's lots of rumors about him, though. I heard LaCroix picked him up in Africa over a hundred years ago. Obviously, they work well together. Ask about someone else. Sure. What about Nines Rodriguez? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. Hmm. I see what you're saying. I wanted to ask about the clans. Sure. Uh, we already talked about those. Ah, uh, we don't need to talk too much about them. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. Okay, what do we got? Other sex? Yeah. Uh, tell me about the Anarchs. The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? Okay. Yeah. Sabat. You ask me, the Sabat makes no sense. They couldn't care less about the masquerade, and they seem to care even less about themselves. It's like, hey, let's all spread hell on Earth so we can feel big and bad. Oops. I'm dead. Now, how did that happen? See ya. All right. That made sense. We got some good experience for that. Not a ton, but we got some good experience. And now we probably have to just go to report to Prince LaCroix in the, vent uh, in the Venture Tower downtown. Good to know. We've done some good work today, boys and ladies. And I look damn good doing it.